Hi there. This video is going to be a quick tutorial using the Band in a Box DAW plugin with Adobe Audition. So as you can see, I've got Audition open and here's the Band in a Box VST plugin. So I just typed in these chords, picked the style, and then all of the music you're hearing right now was generated with this plugin. So right now it's playing within the plugin in Audition, but I can just stop and then drag any of these tracks, like the bass track, into my Audition project. But instead of doing that, let me just get rid of that. And you can drag them all in on separate tracks if you drag this blue master track while holding Alt. Holding Alt tells Audition to put them on separate tracks rather than just putting them one after another. So now I can just close the plugin and we can take a listen to it within Audition. And of course everything is dry right now, no reverb, no panning, but of course you can do whatever you want, like I'll pan this guitar to the left, and that one to the right. That's a bit much. So I'm going to stop this here, and you probably have Audition installed already. I hope you do, but I'll show you how to get the Band in a Box plugin installed. So I'm just going to go File, New, Multitrack Session. Whoops. And I'll just call it my song for video. Okay, so now I've got a blank song in Audition, and now I just need to get the plugin open. So, I've already got Banded Box 2019 for Windows installed, and that is, you do need to have that installed on your computer. And so, if you have that installed, you should go to your C drive, and you'll see a BB folder, and there'll also be a BB plugin within that folder. So, I'm going to open that, and then there'll, there'll be files, and then here are a bunch of different uh, VST plugins. Some of them say... Uh, DAW VST effects plugin and some just say DAW VST plugin and so if it says an effects plugin that means it's a specifically a VST effects plugin and if it doesn't it just means it's a VST instrument plugin and so by default we put this VST instrument plugin in a bunch of different locations on your hard drive like for example this folder here program files this will automatically be there but we don't actually put this effects plugin there. So you're going to have to um, go to this files like I showed you in your BB plugin folder. And you're going to have to copy this effects plugin. It doesn't matter if it's the VST3 or the VST2. You're going to have to copy one or both of them uh, to this location or another location that Audition can recognize them in. So if you go back to Audition, and go effects and then audio plugin manager you're going to see that folder i was showing you mentioned here and then you can see i've already scanned and it's found both of those there but you're going to have to make sure that you copied it there because by default our installation doesn't put the effects plugins there uh, and audition doesn't work with instrument plugins it only works with effects plugins because I guess they don't support any kind of MIDI. So once you have uh, this effects plugins in one of these locations that you know are mentioned there, you could also just add the folder, the band in a box folder, and that will also find it. So once you've got all that done, you can just go to effects and then VST. If, if you put the VST3 one, it will show up under PG Music or the VST2 one will also be there under PG Music. They're both the same, they both work the same. So I'll just use the VST3 version. And so that's how you open it. So I just had track one selected, so now it's on this track. And so if I close it, I can just double click this again to open it. So here it is, you can resize it, you can make the chord sheet bigger. There's a bunch of fun things you can do with it. So by default, this is blank. And just like the desktop app, you can 
use your arrow keys to type in chords like this. You can type in things like that, E minor seven, all good stuff. But the main thing you'll probably be doing is just picking a style or picking individual real tracks. There's even a cool feature called multi riff that lets you generate seven different takes of the same instrument. You can also, if you hit this file, uh, you can open actual band in a box song projects that you've already created. And once you've made a song, you can save it and you actually don't even need to save it here. If you've saved your audition session, everything gets saved. So it's, it's all good stuff. So I'm just going to open the style picker, um, and show you, sorry, I didn't click on it. Uh, this, so this is going to open the banner box style picker and I'll just double click on some styles we have so you can get a sense of, um, the kind of music you can do. bunch of jazz styles. Lots of folk styles. I'll just go to some random ones. I'll just keep clicking till I find something I like. Kind of like this one, so to select this style, you just are going to click OK, and you can see a preview. There's going to be bass, guitar, drums, and another guitar. And you also see it's like swing eights and a tempo of 110. And so I'm going to load that in, and you can see it's loaded in all these tracks, but right now they're kind of grayed out because they haven't been generated. So I'm just going to type in, maybe I'll just type in a, for time's sake, I'll just type in like a 12 bar blues. And uh, to set the end bar, I'm going to click here and just end it at bar 12. I'll make the ending chord C and maybe instead of the key of C, I'll just transpose it to the key of D just for fun. And... I guess I can, you know, there are a bunch of, you can generate an individual track. Like if you just wanted the drum track, you could just generate that. I'll just hit this big generate button uh, because that's just going to generate all these individual tracks. And of course, you know, I could just drag the bass track if I wanted to, but I, I want a full band. I'm not working with anything. This is just a blank song. So this is going to give me something to work with. And there's actually a shortcut in Audition. Just there's a bunch of tracks that I don't necessarily want. If I hit Shift E, that's just going to erase all the empty tracks. And so once this is done generating, I'm going to um, drag this blue, um, blue master track and holding Alt will put them on separate tracks. So that's what I'm going to do. Gonna drag this, gonna make sure I hold Alt, and then here we go. Um, you can also, you know, sample each individual track here, like I could hit play. Hear it within the plugin, but I'm gonna just play it in Audition. Oh, and the tempo, I um, it's left at 85, so to fix that, edit. Um, preferences and audition and then time display I think I just left it at 120 so now now that will line up so this is correct
So that's how to pick a style and generate everything from scratch. And to open the plugin again, you click on the track that it was on, and here it is, and you just double click it. So now it's opened, it's saved our settings. And let's say we wanted to add a soloist to this or something, like an individual reel track. We hit select, and there are a bunch of different options here, some MIDI options. And unfortunately, Audition doesn't do anything with MIDI, so we can just ignore those. But we could make a loop or a user track. Um, but maybe I'll just pick a real track. So this is going to launch the real tracks picker. And maybe I'll just filter by solo. And maybe I'll type in guitar and I know it's around 120. So maybe I'll just filter by tempo, scroll down to 120. Here's one, Rock Brent, simple. Let's just try that. So I'm gonna hit OK. And you see it's created a second page and you can just hit down. And so I could just right click and just generate that. So in just a sec, once it's kind of filled in, oh, there we go, it's generated. So I'll just drag this down there and we should have a guitar solo now. So let's hear how that sounds. That sounded okay. I'm actually not totally feeling that soloist maybe over this style. So I'm going to try a different one. So I'm going to reopen the plugin and I'll just, I'll just leave this there, but I'm going to do a multi riff and I'm going to maybe pick a more bluesy soloist. So multi riff is really cool. It's uh, going to let me pick a real track, and then it's going to do seven, seven different takes of that soloist. So maybe I'll type in, like, blues solo. Maybe I'll get a better match. And so I'm going to go to around 120. And here's another one by Brent Mason. And maybe I'll do a swung one. So let me try this. Country Shuffle Brent. This one might be cool. So I'm going to hit OK. And with a multi-riff, you can either do the whole song or just do a bit. Maybe I'll just, for the sake of this, I'll just do these four bars to show you that you can just generate uh, uh, over four bars. So I'm going to go Custom Generation and then go Multi-Riff, Riff of Selected region and so what this is going to do you see it's created uh, seven different riffs and it's actually made a third page so we can navigate the pages by these arrows and so it's just taking its time to to think of seven seven different kind of riffs to play and then here we go it's done so let me see i'm just gonna do this and hold down the alt key again to get them on separate tracks. Oh, and actually I started it at bar five and it does a one bar lead in. And if we just for the two bar lead in uh, from this chord sheet, then it should start at bar six of this timeline. So let's drag that to bar six. And then, so this should be right now. And so let's mute a bunch of these because I don't want them all playing at the same time. And let's see how this first one sounds. Oh, and let me mute this old soloist. And here we go. So 
that was the first one. Let me try the second one. Let me try this third one. You can see the waveforms are physically different, so it's picking different solos to choose from. What about this one? Or there's this one. Let's listen to one more. Yeah, so as you can see, very useful if you want to like really handpick and produce uh, the solos in your song. You can do these multi riffs. And uh, yeah, so that's a brief overview of this new DAW plugin from Band in a Box. I hope you enjoyed it.